welcome to Empowerment Radio. My name is Dr. Friedman, and I'm so glad that you decided to join me. Empowerment Radio is about giving you the insights, tools, and solutions to address some of the most challenging aspects of our daily lives. So sit back, relax, and empower yourself. Yeah, surrender. So here's another question that just came in on whether when we surrender, we actually gain more clarity and how to be and how to do differently. And I do believe that is absolutely true, that surrendering just allows us to, you know, it's almost like you're putting this uh, snow globe down and you let everything that you were trying to look at or got distracted by sink down and you can see yourself more clearly and you can see the pathway more clearly and uh, that allows you also to go forward with uh, i believe greater confidence and greater trust now personally whether you do have any kind of spiritual inclinations or not there is a flow there is a flow in life, and we know it. We can feel it. There is uh, something that we know is, uh, you know, pushing against whatever we uh, want to pursue, and then there is all of a sudden an opening, and you feel like you do go downstream. And and one of the wisdoms of a successful and uh, fulfilling life is to be able to really tune into this flow and being able to really notice where is the path of least resistance. And often we are the one that creates the greatest resistance because we don't allow ourselves to take a pause and to simply surrender. Now, this situation we are in, this whole COVID pandemic, is our chance to surrender into a new way of being. And I'm going to read you later on a quote by uh, Brandy Brown that I really find inspirational and so true for these times, which is about letting go of this idea of what normal is and surrendering into something that may be much more uh, appropriate and fulfilling than that old thing that we called normal. And But it requires us also to accept right now this new uh, reality that we are all in. Now, we have been surrendering since we were little babies. You know, we just don't realize how good we are in surrendering. Think about it. You, you were in the womb. You, you couldn't really go for a walk, so you were locked in. You were in confinement, and you had to trust that there is some food and some nutrition and oxygen and so on there, and that even though you're growing, that there is still enough space for you so that you don't, um, you know, get suffocated. And then later on as a baby, you were certainly surrendering to the care of your parents, and even as adults, you know, how often do we surrender just on a daily basis? You surrender with every breath, because every exhale, you surrender to trust that there will be enough oxygen on the next inhale, and that there will be a next inhale. You surrender when you go to sleep. You surrender everything that you felt like you had to control or were thinking of or busy about. You just surrender, you put it down, and let sleep carry you into that land of dreams. You surrender to a sneeze, you surrender to maybe hunger or thirst because you just accept this is what my body right now needs. You surrender when you're at the dentist, right? You cannot necessarily punch the dentist in the face when you know he or she hurts you. You surrender when you make decisions in life. You know, I had a good friend who really took some time to surrendering to the fact that he had kids. But once he did accept and surrender, he actually blossomed as one of the best dads I know. We surrender when we're in a relationship, and we surrender when we lose the loved ones through separation or death. We surrender all the time. And so remember times where you felt that some change happened in your life and you were not really sure how you're going to do this change. And then eventually you let go of wishing it to be different and then you accept it. And then you realize through the acceptance that there was actually a lot to appreciate of that change. 
And then you realize that through the appreciation, there were new possibilities all of a sudden showing up. All of a sudden you saw things that you haven't really noticed before and maybe made new connections. And then you realize that there was wisdom in that ability to accept and surrender into whatever you had resisted at the beginning. So just when you want to practice surrender, allow yourself every day to take a little time to detach from those goals that you put a lot of energy in and you feel like, well, you know, I have been spending like eight hours today just focusing on that and maybe working hard on this and maybe noticing also a little bit too much identification and too much obsession. So literally imagine that you have these energetic tentacles that are latching onto this and you just pull them back. You just allow yourself to go into your own self, in your own confines. And this can be through meditation. This can be through visualization, just letting go and let that, whatever you held onto, float away. Accepting things that are imperfect. You see a stain on the floor and you're not rushing right away into the kitchen and getting a sponge to clean it. You actually accept it. Practice acceptance of the imperfection and trust that you can take care of it later. Doesn't have to be right away. Patience. Practice patience. When you have sent out a text message and it hasn't really been responded right away to, let it go. Surrender into the waiting and being open to receive the answer later. And maybe you're going to notice that you're not so attached to whatever answer it is because you have let it go. You have let go of that pressure around it. And then also appreciating, surrendering into all the goodness in your life and really trusting that life will bring you more goodness when you're open to receive. So let's go into this guided meditation and you can just... Enjoy these 15 minutes of surrendering. Hi, Dr. Friedman here. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more about fear and anxiety, here you'll find guided meditations, webinars, and interviews with some of the most renowned experts in the field of empowerment. Delve into the over 230 videos and more to come every week.